in the series The Incredible Tales of Professor Dr. Anton Moe. Part 3. The Final World Championships. Text, Paul Royakers. Illustrations, Stefan de Groot. Our tale begins far from here, in a place known as a haven for temptations and exhilarating music. A place that houses the biggest statue on earth, portraying the Redeemer. Botafogo Beach, where sun worshippers meet soccer aficionados in the South American land. It is here where our incredible tale begins. In the shadows of this huge statue lies Professor Dr. Anton Moe on the surf of an almost desolate beach. Exhausted from a gruesome journey on the ocean in a path up with his friend Quap the Hippo, the professor slowly awakens. Quap is nowhere to be found. There's no time to recuperate for our little hero. A sphere-like shape hits him hard on his delicate snout. Ouch! moans Anton. What the... who disturbs my slumber? Anton touches his painful nose, reaches for his spectacles and sees a colorful ball lying in front of him. He reaches out and lifts up the ball. He notices that the ball radiates tiny motions. There's no time to examine the object thoroughly. A shrill, piercing voice plagues Anton's sensitive ears. Shoot the ball, all right. Are you that stupid, or am I so smart? Anton turns around slowly and looks into the face of a drooling tapire. Well, listen here, you impudent rascal, utters Anton. That's no way to talk to a scientist who just survived an incredible journey. Anton pushes the tapire away and keeps him from taking the ball. The tapire can hardly contain himself. Give me that ball right away, you shitty player, 